Hey guys, so I came to visit Bach, but I'm alone. He's not here. I guess I'm a few centuries late. I mean, maybe one could argue that he's still here. I would have to do some research on dead bodies and how they decompose, and some spiritual readings. Um, but that is definitely not included in my in my research topics. Maybe in my next degree. <laughs> the question would be um, whether Bach is dead or whether Bach is still with us. Anyway, enough bullshit. Enough bullshit. I am actually here because there is better reception than in than in Stevenson Ranch, and I'm going to give him. I'm going to give him a call. Okay. I hope nobody sees me. I mean the Thomas Kirche, where he was buried. Um, okay, there we go. Hi, Bach. Are you there? Can you hear me? Yes, I'm here. What do you want? I was wondering what you think about our recordings of your pieces in extended chest intonation. You stupid girl. Why do you think I should care? Oh, but are you not picky about intonation? We've worked really hard to make your music more in tune than anyone else has ever done. I politely appreciate your efforts, but I think they are boring. Mm, I think I agree. But listen, the boring thing is the tuning. Yes, why are you taking such a simplistic approach to my harmonies? The overtone series, it is so uninteresting. Oh, but I thought that maybe that was the ideal in your mind. That, I mean, earthy restrictions like limited number of kids is allowed the use of natural intonation throughout your work. But since your pieces are for solo violin, we wanted to strive for this ideal. If I was interested in this, I would have left written evidence for you. But have I not left enough evidence on how much I love tempering the octave? Yes, you have indeed, actually. But the violin is different. I mean... That connection... <clears throat> what, what do you say? Can you hear me? Yes! Um, what do you think about the use of the natural seventh um, in unfretted instruments, for example? <laughs> Let the Italians indulge themselves with this bullshit. It will never work. We are not gods. We are not in heaven. This is the earth. Remember. But Bach, don't you like the sound of the natural seventh? I am a straight man. Haven't you read how many wives I had? Let's see. <laughs> That's a little bit sexist, I guess. Um, but I think I think I know what he means. Um, dear Bach, don't you think it is more enjoyable to listen to your music purely in tune? Don't be stupid. The beauty is in tempering. In tempering, well, that is the highest art. Any kind of kid can sing natural intervals, they are natural. And please do not eliminate the tension of the seventh chords. My music makes no sense that way. So, to which point do you fancy the overtone series? Well, I certainly would strive for the major and minor thirds. Since this determines the overall key and mode of the piece and of the passage, 
but I wouldn't worry too much about the whole about the hold on, especially if they are in ornamented passages. And certainly, I very much the seventh a little nasty, so that it can resolve nothing new. I see. Well, I'm terribly sorry um, to have bothered you uh, in this way and to have diminished your music um, to a plain and boring layering of simple ratios for people who need sleep. I really need sleep. I'm lacking in sleep. Um, so, I don't know. Um, maybe in heaven, the sleepy gods <laughs> will like it. <laughs> but there are no gods on earth. Maybe in heaven, 